what we are saying is that your word is the law in the universe. But you need to know these laws. Without an understanding of the laws, through ignorance, you cannot create what you want in this reality. The fundamental law to which all other laws conform is the law of cause and effect. The law of cause and effect says that the effect or result of any situation must be equal to the cause. The cause is always an idea or a belief. Another way of describing the law of cause and effect is the example of sowing and reaping, or action and reaction, or put it in a modern day context, my ideas are created into my results. The law of cause and effect is impersonal, just like sunshine. If you are standing in the sun, you will receive the warmth and healing benefits of the sun rays. If you are standing in the shade, it seems like the sun isn't shining on you. But who moved you into the shade? Who moved you into the darkness? The truth is, we are in the darkness because of our ignorance. It's all our fault. This is why we see so many people who are basically good, have so many problems and disasters in their lives. Somewhere in their life, that person has misused or misunderstood the law. It doesn't mean that he or she is bad. It means that through ignorance or misunderstanding, that person has misused the law. This can be applied to any natural law. For instance, aerodynamic will not kill you, but misunderstanding of its function will. Even if you are a kind, loving, a positive person, the universe is like a river. The river keeps on flowing. It doesn't care whether you are happy or sad, good or bad. It just keeps flowing. Some people go down to the river and they cry. Some people go down to the river and they are happy. But the river doesn't care. It just keeps flowing. We can use it and enjoy it. Or we can jump in it and drown. The river just keeps flowing because it's impersonal. And so is with the universe. The universe that we live in can support us or destroy us. It's our interpretation and use of the law that determine our effects or results. We can only receive what our minds are capable of accepting. We can go to the river of life with a teaspoon and someone else may go with a cup, someone else may go with a bucket and yet another person may go with a barrel. But the abundance of the river is always there and waiting. Our consciousness, our ideas, our frames of reverence and our belief system determine whether we go to the river of life with a teaspoon, a cup, a bucket or a barrel. If we are beverish in our thinking and have gone to the river of life with only a teaspoon, we may cast the little that we have in our teaspoon. We may cast others who have more than we do. But remember, whatever we cast will cast us. The river is there. It's overflowing with abundance. We can come to the river of life with only a teaspoon or a bucket or a barrel anytime we want to. What we want from the river of life is up to us. The only limitation is in our mind. The truth is, we can have anything we want if we we'll give up the belief that we can't have it. It's as simple as that. So until next time, family, a liar.